the union budget is in front of us uh, and everyone is eagerly awaiting you know what it will hold for the next financial year which is going to, going to come through uh, on this backdrop we thought you know we can look at some of the important sectors in the economy and see what are the really prospects uh, in fy 16 17 for these sectors let me now talk about the steel sector it is a very important sector uh, core sector and even from a banking sector perspective we have seen that you know because the sector has not been doing well it has really added to the asset quality woes of the bank. So what are really the prospects from the steel sector going forward? Let me just give you a backdrop of what really has happened in the last few months or few quarters. What we have seen in the last one year of uh, 2015 is that prices have significantly declined. I mean, if I look at uh, end of 2014 to now, uh, global steel prices have declined upwards of 50%. Even in the second half of 15 itself, I think global prices crashed by 30%. And this is all led by the slowing growth in China and Chinese steel coming in the, in the global market. How are we really seeing this now playing out in FY17? I think government has done its bit. Uh, they have increased custom duty in 2015 uh, two times. Uh, somewhere in January, they imposed the safeguard duty. You know, however, what we have seen after that, that the global prices fell further. So, you know, where before the imposition of the duty, the prices were close to about $300. After the 20% duty for six months was imposed, prices fell to close to about $250. So, you know, beyond a point, I think government realized that higher duty is not helping. And in February first week, they took a very bold step to impose a minimum import price on 173 steel items. And if you really look at the minimum import price that government has notified, it is at a significant premium to the prevailing international prices. What we believe, therefore, will happen is that it will allow the domestic players to increase prices. However, the price increase will not be commensurate with the minimum import price because the gap is too wide. And given that the domestic capacities are significantly underutilized, the utilization rates are still very low, demand pickup is not happening, uh, we expect the prices to go up maybe between two to 4,000 rupees uh, in the next financial year. Based on that, our outlook for the overall sector remains very subdued. We believe that uh, companies will st continue to be stretched in terms of financial performance. However, compared to the, what we have seen in the last two quarters, probably there will be some improvement. To really understand uh, you know, how the budget is going to impact the sector and the overall economy, uh, watch our live coverage on Times now on the budget day.